the Jays will take on the Seattle Mariners, the first of three games between those teams at T-Mobile Park. As per usual, there will be a ton of Toronto fans down there from British Columbia, the Lower Mainland, and Alberta to see the Jays take on the Mariners. Um, you heard Mr. Barker and Mike Cameron talking a little earlier. And uh, I think there's a little bit of hard feelings between these teams based on what happened in the playoffs I wouldn't like last Seattle. year. Happened if I were the, the Jays. And if I were Seattle, I wouldn't like the Jays. Well, the whole idea of fans uh, coming into your ballpark yeah. and, uh, you know, and, and making um, – and making all that noise would probably get a little old. Um, and one person who is perfectly positioned to tell us yes, he is. the vibes on both teams is our next guest, a very popular former member of the Toronto Blue Jays, a very popular member of the Seattle Mariners. Teoscar Hernandez joins us on Blair and Barker. Teo, thanks so much for joining Kevin and myself. It's, I think, you know, always good to talk to you. I got to ask you this because there's a lot of talk about the the Jays and their fans coming to Seattle. Now, you were with the Jays. You know what it's like when Jays fans come into Seattle. Now you're with the Mariners. What are your Mariners teammates saying to you about what it's like to play in that environment? I mean, they, they're excited, too. They know they know the field. They know that the atmosphere is going to be uh, to the skies, and, and, and we all know it's going to be a good series. Uh, Tay Oscar, going from one team that had expectations to another in Seattle, how's it been for you? Is it has it been tough? Is it, you know, the expectations? Is that a thing for a player that gets traded to from one team to the other? Is there a lot of pressure on you to go out there and hit, you know, forty homers and drive in a hundred runs? Because quite frankly, that's why they brought you over there. I mean, it, it, I don't, I don't want to call that as pressure, but uh, at the same time, I just come here to do my job at the end of the day and then just try to do the same thing that I was doing when I was in Toronto and just trying to to put the little things together and help the team win. Hey, Oscar, how do you look at your time in Toronto? You know, now that you've been in Seattle for a half a year, and of course you were, you started out with the Astros and then they traded you to Toronto. How do you look back at your time in Toronto now that you've maybe had a chance to step away from it a bit? I mean, it was great. I don't, I, I don't regret anything. Uh, I had a lot of appreciation for the team, for the people over there, for the fans, and everybody that take care of me when when I get there. Uh, it was, it was awesome. Uh, my family loved it. I loved it. Uh, they have a special group over there, and and the fans love the, the game. So, it's nothing to 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 be negative about. Uh, my playing time in Toronto. Uh, Tay Oscar, every time me and Jeff were around the batting cage and I would watch you backspin balls to the, to the third deck in right center field, that's grown man pop. Like I would tell Jeff that all the time that most human beings aren't supposed to be able to do that. You know, you went from the Rogers Center to T-Mobile. T-Mobile, as you well know, is not the smallest of parts. You know, you got to get that thing. Now you got grown man pop, but some of those balls that may left the yard at the Rogers Center not leaving there. Is that an adjustment? Like every once in a while you hit one, you think you got it. You know, you're taking your home run trot. You don't get it. Frustrating. You have to make adjustments. Is that a tough adjustment? Uh, I don't think there's going to be any adjustment. It just, I mean, it, 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 it's not good when you know you hit a ball that, that had the chance to go out and then, then it didn't. But uh, at the same time, I just had to hit it better. Uh, <laughs> I just need to put a good swing on the ball and then just try to hit it harder, harder enough to, to for the balls to go out of the park. Now we saw Vladdy during the home run derby, uh, get a hold of you on FaceTime. It went, went viral. A lot of people enjoyed it. It's pretty clear that you guys are still really, really close. I, I, I don't know, maybe best friends. Just tell us a little bit about how you keep track of what Vladdy's doing and about that moment at the home run derby, which you know, that to me is what the Derby is all about, is it's a chance to see the players having fun with their teammates and with opponents, and you really get a sense of the community of the ball player at that time. Yeah, I mean, our relationship is, is more than a, uh, players. It just, uh, I think, uh, I, I consider him, uh, my brother, uh, the relationship that we built, when I was in Toronto, it was impressive. And even we were when we were in the off season, 
uh, we keep in touch, we get together, he goes to my town, I go to his town, and, and just have ha- time together and try to make that relationship stronger. And that's the kind of guy that I am, and he is like that too. He he, he likes to build a good relationship with, with, with the other players, and, and that's what we do. And still, uh, we talk a lot, not every day, but, but two or three times a week uh, to know uh, – what's going on and how he feel, how I feel and, and how is everything going. Did you know he was going to call you during the Derby? Was that <laughs> set up or did he surprise you? No, that was, that was just in the moment, you know, uh, uh, he was, he was in the middle of the Derby. Uh, I, I was the one that called him, but, uh, okay. To make him relax a little bit, mm. but, uh, it, it's nothing big. He just, uh, he was trying to have fun and try to win everything. To ask her, do you guys often talk about approaches? Uh, approaches, you know, in 2023 because of how good pitching is, is very important, right? It's They know how to get you out. You're the best hitter on the team, and, you know, you sort of have to game plan against not swinging at those things, getting balls down the middle. Does Vladdy ever call you? You mentioned about the tension and have fun and just, you know, go out there and try and be yourself. You ever call you have that conversation? You ever have that conversation back and just you know stop swinging at that? Get a better pitch. Like is that conversation ever had? We really don't don't talk about the negative things. We just talk about how we can get better. Uh, and uh, when every time he hits a homer, I talk to him and, and just for tell him that that, that keep looking at that swing, keep doing, uh, looking at that approach that he took and that at that and just. Uh, we don't try to, to, to talk about the negative stuff that happened in the game because there, there are a lot, a lot of negative stuff. I, I think there's more negative than positive uh, during the season, but uh, we just try to, to stay positive, positive and just try to help each other in any, any, any way we can. Now, you were around some really good young players when you were with the Blue Jays, obviously, Vladdy and, and Lourdes and Bo Bichette. Now you're in Seattle and you get to see Julio Rodriguez up close um tell us how uh, how special he is and and if you can and i know this is a little unfair but if you can tell oscar how would you compare a guy like julio rodriguez to vladdy or to Bo? it just uh i think julio has uh uh the power that vladdy has and the speed that the Bo has hmm. so uh, julio is a special uh young player he got a lot of talent uh still a lot to learn he knows a lot and I think everybody knows that, uh, you know. And it's exciting for me to uh, to go from uh, the Blue Jays, where I where I play with Vladdy, like you say, Lourdes, Bo, and all those guys come here and play with Julio and the guys here. Uh, I'm just glad that my career has been around people like 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 them. You know, I learn a lot from them, and, and I try to to teach them some some stuff too. That's very cool. Uh, Seattle's 500. Taya, what do you think it'll take for you guys to turn this around and make a run at? We just have to stay together and, and try to do the little things. I think uh, I always say this: if, if your team does the little things, they have a chance to win a lot of games. And I think that's going to be the key for us. And just try to go in the run and try to do lo- the little things to uh, help each other accountable and, and, and do the things that we have to do on the baseball field. Now, last question for us before we let you run. Look, the Blue Jays are looking for a middle-of-the-order bat, somebody who can be a veteran, somebody who can bat right-handed, somebody who can hit left-handed pitching. I mean, I know a guy in Seattle that might fit that bill. Me too. Um, (laughs) I know. We're we're having a little fun here. Yeah, we are. And you're also a free agent at the end of the year. Is there any, in your mind at all, is there, do you ever stop and think, you know, there's still a pretty good fit between me and them? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's, 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 I'm not gonna say no because I'm not, I'm not like that. Uh, I, you know, I thanks the Blue Jays a lot, and, and and if I had the opportunity to come back, I will. But uh, I, I think that's not on my hands. 